Well, here we are again. And who all thought I'd died and gone to that big place? Whether it be up there or down there. You knew. But first off, let me apologise for being absent and not uploading for the past few months. But uh, real life gets in the way, unfortunately. Uh, and I've not been too well, so sorry about that. But hopefully I'm back. I'm not 100%. We still might have a few gaps here and there, but I'll try and do my best for you. Okay. Right, so as you can see, we've got a new game called Chinese Empire. Well, this is actually a demo called Chinese Empire. No idea when it's going to be out. Uh, it just says to be confirmed. But I thought we'd have a wee go at this one uh, as my, my first game coming back after so long. So I do apologise. Right, let's get in here and see what we can do. We'll go for the tutorial because it's me, remember. You know, we're not very good at these things. Right, so welcome to the Chinese Empire. In this tutorial, you will get familiar with basic gameplay, sorry, basic gameplay mechanics that are available in the demo version of the game. Oh, goody. Right, so the main HUD contains most of the statistics you need to know about the overall state of your village. Panels on the left side provide an overview of your population, their happiness and available resources in your village, which is sort of standard for a city building game, village building thingy doodah game. Right, the bottom panel is your most important tool. It contains all the buildings you can create grouped by their category. Housing, farming, resource, production, trading, religion, utilities and administration. If you hover your mouse over a specific building, you can see its description. Sorry. Requirements and effects it provides. I know I'm not great at English, but to me that grammar is terrible. Uh, never mind. Selecting a building enters the construction mode and you can place it on the map. Very possible that the developer's first language isn't English. I don't know. Oh, we got more. We got more. If you're not patient enough to, to wait until a construction is finished, you can change the gameplay speed using the panel on the top right. Right, different speeds can also be accessed using keyboard shortcuts. Yeah, okay, right, okay. Lastly, in the bottom right corner of the screen, you can access technology tree. Yay! In the current version of the game, you are limited to the first tier of development. Oh, okie dokie. Right, let's see. Oh, look, we're in the monkey year. The founding point of your village is the town hall. It is required for all the buildings to work properly and lets you manage them. It also defines the radius in which you can place other buildings. Some of them, like the farm, are not affected by this limitation. Oh, we got a farm, eh? So let's start building your own empire. Yeah, I've always wanted my own empire, mate. Please select the town hall from the building panel and place it on the map. Pick any location on the map that you feel is suited for your village and build the town hall there. After selection, you can rotate building by pressing R. Pick wisely, as this choice cannot be changed later on. Mm. Right, let's get a bit closer. I want to see, oh, is that, oh, that right? Well, this is it. Town hall, and it's cost me 20, whatever. Now, where's the front? Whoa, where'd that go? Oh, oh it's not very good at turning, is it? Eh? I'll go one way or the other. I think we'll put it there. Because it is only a demo after all, isn't it? Oh, 
Where's the wee, wee men and women? Is there nobody building it or is it just appearing? Oh, next step is to construct, uh, to construct some roads. All the buildings need to be connected to the town hall with a road in order to be active. Ah, that makes sense. If there's no connection, the building is not considered as part of your village. And in effect, it does not produce any resources. Hmm. You can create a road just like any other building with a simple click. But it might be easier to just drag your mouse from point A to point B while holding the left mouse button to automatically create a path between those points. Okay, so I'm assuming we're doing a dirt road and it looks like it's going... It's not going there, isn't it? Where are you going? Where? Oh, I'm about to click on that again. Whoa! Population of your village, <coughs> excuse me, is the key to expansion. All the buildings require workers to be active and workers need some place to live. Let's start with building some houses, okay. I want to finish doing the roads. Ah, oh, so that's the radius of the road. Let's see if we can... Will you stop that? No, I don't want to go in. I want to go in there. Hold it, I've got a lump. Right, where's building hussies? Hoose hoos. Look. Hussies getting built. Look. Hussies getting built. When do I get my peoples? I hope the front of the house is going to be on the, the road. Oh, nice. Now to provide some basic utilities our people need the most important of them is water. So let's start with a well, okay. Where's my well? I take it that's in there. So, ah, there it is. Right, we'll, we'll put the well there. Where we are now. Right. Another opportunity building for your village is the shrine. It provides your citizens with a place to practice their beliefs. Shrine generates affinity points to the selected element. Your relations with each element can have significant impact on how they influence your village. If you're focusing on only one element, the other ones will not be satisfied. Might start giving you troubles. Ooh, sounds complicated. I don't do complicated. Now build your first shrine. Okay. Note elements also interact with each other. For example, water reduces the influence of fire, fire reduces the influence of metal. Okay. Right, where's my shrine? No, no. no. Is that a shrine? That's right. Where's where's my shrine? Shrine. Buildings. No. Big well. Um, that's farming. Building. Herbalist. No. Market. No. Shrine. Shrine. We got a shrine. Okay, we got a shrine. Right, where will we put the shrine? Near the town hall, you think? Or we'll put the shrine over there. Yeah, well, put it there. How does that look? That's not a shrine, that's a well. Really got a well. Where, where, what the? What the? And no work, eh? I 
the fuck can, can I delete that? Various provides water to nearby. I know, but can I delete it? Can I know delete it? I know what it is. I, do, I want to delete it. Stupid machine. Uh, what's this? Oh, that just puts it down. Right, so how come it wouldn't it? Place for spiritual nourishment generates affinity selected element. So it needs 250 logs. Aye, right? we got 340 and 300 coin. Got enough coin, haven't we? Thing. Why won't you let me do it? I'm saying I haven't got. I take it the red means that I can't do that. That. So, I'll tell you what. Um. <clears throat> cock up. Let's say. Uh, wait. Let's see if it'll. Let me load now. Hey menu. Sorry about this, peoples. But while we're waiting for to to make up my idiosyncrasies, thingies do does being an idiot basically. Don't forget that this channel supports RMA, the Royal Marines charity, and the only way we can do that is with your help. Okay, so if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Share the video with everybody that you know. And obviously, don't forget to give us a like. Oh, I'm in a different place, look. I'm in a different place. Ooh, different. All right, let's get the town hall in. All right, get town hall there. Try and get this done as quickly as we can. Sorry about the wee cock up, but I put in two wells, and because I put in two wells, I didn't have enough thingy do that to, to make me do thingy do thing. Uh, roads, yeah, we know about roads. Where's my roads? Right, so we'll go at the front. Yeah, and we'll go up. Oh, stop, Kobe. Does the roads cost? Does it cost me anything for that roads? I don't know. Uh, the next one was Hussies, wasn't it? Houses. Right, we'll put a wee... Who's there? There we go. Right. Here comes a house. Now we need to be careful. That we don't click on the wrong thing again. Look at that, eh? Look at that. Right, uh, now we need to be basic utilities. This is the water. We want the well. Okay, we'll put the well. Oh, oh, I just saw, did I see somebody walking? Before this came up, uh, is this the shrine that they want? Okay, we want a shrine. Look, there, there's, there, there, there's a person. Oh, oh, two peoples. Oh, 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 it's getting exciting now. Right, let's get my shrine in. Oh, let's put the shrine. Yeah. Oh, look, we, we gets peoples. Look, we, we's getting peoples. Right. All of your citizens need to eat. Citizens? Citizens? What's a citizen? All your citizens need to eat. Right? Well, yeah. 
uh, that farm is your primary source of food. Its production rate is based on the amount of its active workers. Farm, just like any other construction, needs to have a basic supply of resources used in production and maintaining the building. Upkeep amount can depend on how many workers the building has assigned. Okay, oh, you have finished the tutorial. Whoa. Oh, what's happened there? Did you say yeah, I'd fin fin it? Oh, oh, it's gone. Do da. Oh, bless it. Oh well, never mind. But as I say, this was basically a video to say that I'm back and to apologise. Uh. For me, let's see what sandbox looks like. Not being here, East Valley or the Lonely River. Mm -hmm. These are things you can do. What do you think? Do you think I should do the valley or the river? Well, the valley. I suppose it'd be good for defence and whatnot, but the river means that you can trade with peoples, can't you? Let's do that. This is just a quickie to see what everything looks like. Is this all that I can, I can get out? Where, where's, where's my water? Where's my river? Oh, there's my river there. Oh, there's the river there. Wish I could scroll out a wee bit though. Disney could do we scrolling out a wee bit, couldn't we? Right, so because that's as far as I can come out. Right, so we'll do a tune hall. Let's put that there. Maybe we'll get people's again. Look at that. Yeah. As I said, th this was just uh, a quick video to apologise for being away. Uh, and not being around as much. But as I said, I, it's just, I'm getting old, I'm sorry. But I am. There's no other thing for it. Is I'm just getting old. Put that who's there. Maybe we'll start to get peoples. Then we need the well. Can we do the well? Oh, we can do do the well. Put that next to the house. Oh, well, won't let me place it. Well, that's still going. Oh, look, there's a man. Or a woman. Or a... It's peoples. Oh! Oh, look. Oh, there's none of the peoples there. That Adam and Eve. You think? Yeah? Mightn't it be Adam and Eve? Let me, uh... Where did the... That's a house. Farm. Sawmills. What's that? Craft, trade, religion, administration, I would want uh, road to go that way. Right, we need a uh, oh, I've not got enough. What do I do now then? Can I do a farm? Oh, my old mate. Where, where was it? Can I, can, oh, I can do a farm. Look at that. Well, it says the farm doesn't need to be on the roads, doesn't it? We need the farm to produce stuffs, don't we? Oh, oh where are But 
what we shall do is uh, we'll try and put a road to the farm. Anyway, what's that? Ah, upkeep. Well, production workers do work slots to priority. Oh, it's to high priority. I will put four in. You never know. Right, because we need lots of stuffs. Oh, is, is that a, a Hannibal? No. Whoa, what happened there? Have we got anybody working in the farm? We've only got, oh, we've got three peoples. Do I have to tell you to go to the farm or, or something? Whoops. Why, why aren't you going to the farm? Upkeep. No, no, doing production times eight food. Okay. Well, there you go. So, yeah, so that, that was a wee demo on Chinese Empire thing. I forgot what it's called already. <laughs> oh, God almighty. Aye, uh, Chinese empires or civilization, civilizations or, or something. See, I may have been ill, but I've not changed much, have I? Uh, so we got some food going. Uh, and we'll, we'll see how it, how it goes. Let me know what you think of this. Uh, as I say, it's, my head's still not, 100% yeah and well neither is the rest of my body either but I'll, I'll try and get some more stuff up I don't know when I'll be able to do a world of warships because I can't sort of pause that I have to go straight through with that and with the old arthritis and whatnot, I, I might not get to the end uh, so we'll, we'll need to wait and see if we can manage that for you or not, but we'll try and bring in other new stuff as well. Okay. Uh, but as I said, if you haven't already subscribed and you'd like to help us in our support of RMA, the Royal Marines charity, just hit that subscribe button, hit the share button, give us a like, and obviously drop us a comment. Uh, let us know what you think of this and what else that you would like to see. Okay, now for those of you that are watching this for the first time, uh, just to make sure that you know what you're letting yourselves in for, I'm not very good at these things. Okay, I try my best, but I'm not very good at games, although I love playing them. Uh, I'm just not very good, as regular viewers of this channel will testify. Uh, so, obviously, I need a lot of help for you lot. And we've still only got three peoples, but we'll see how that goes from there anyway. So thank you very much indeed for putting up with me again. As I say, I'm sorry I've, I've been away for, for such a long time, but I'm hopefully back now uh, and we can get on to, to making some more videos for you. Okay, so I dare say we'll speak to you in the next video whenever that may be. Hopefully, it won't be that far away. It might just be straight after this one. I honestly do not know. It just depends how how I am. Okay, so until we do speak to you in the next video, take very, very, very good care of yourselves. And it's bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.